Hello, this is Caitlin again, and I made some previous videos um, with my 20 gallon and my 5 gallon and my newts and my toads as well. I don't have the newts or toads anymore, they unfortunately have passed, and so have most of my previous fish. Who I have here is Dexter, the red veil tail betta, and two um, white cloud minnows. And they actually make really good roommates, I have to say. They've gotten along famously. Uh, what I have here is a 20-gallon uh, filter, although I only have about 9 gallons of water in here. I originally had this set up for my newt before he died, and I just sort of left it that way, and I like the fish I have like are fine with it. They don't need like a full tank at all. They're doing really, really well, actually, and they're the fattest fish I've ever had, that's for sure. I just have like silk plants. I find this aquarium the light is too high that it doesn't supply enough light for live plants. But I got the gravel I wanted. This big round gravel, which is nice and hard to clean, but I think it looks really good. I have like the wood in there and everything. I do have some java moss in there, but that's it for like live plants. You pretty boys, eh? And it is feeding time, so let's do that. Now I feed them uh, flake food. Tropical fish flake food. And like, read, the, read your ingredients when you're picking your flake food. Um... I got stuff that is like the main ingredients are like fish parts rather than like corn and like whatever the heck else additives that don't do anything for your fish. It actually pollutes your water feeding them food with fillers. So like read your ingredients when you're buying food for your fish or yourself really. And my beta will eat the flakes as well as uh, the beta pellets. And I also supplement their diet with blood worms. I just have some freeze-dried blood worms that I will crush up and sprinkle in there for them. You can see a beta pellet that got stuck to my glass. We'll just take a peek into the tank in here. I have a heater. I keep it at about 22. Uh, it kind of, this aquarium is in the basement, so it gets quite cold in the winter and a little bit warmer in the summer. So I kind of have to adjust my heater to that, but it, the fish seem comfortable, content, no signs of stress. And this filter, actually, it's supposed to work like this. But that is, like, way too much flow for my poor beta. It His fins tore pretty badly when I first put him in here. And then as I had him, I adjusted the flow of the filter. And he they've healed right up. Like, I've never seen such improvement. My, other, my last beta, just, they ripped and they stayed ripped. So, yeah. That's my pride and joy. Thanks for watching.